Hi there. Today we'll try to solder the headers to Raspberry Pi Pico W. So as you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi Pico W module, which has this wireless interface onto it. But when you purchase it, it comes like this, a single board where the circuits are soldered, but you cannot insert that into a breadboard directly. So what we need is, we need these male headers to be soldered onto Raspberry Pi Pico on both the sides. So it makes us easier to simply insert Pico onto breadboard. Now how to solder it? That's what we're going to see. All you need is the header boards exactly by the pin count, which should be inserted like this. And you need them from both the sides. This is also called as Berg strip connectors or simply as male headers. So let's see how we can solder them. You can keep both of them inserted like this and simply place your board onto table like this. From both the places or from both the sides, the strips are now inserted. If you can see it from here. Yeah. Now, have your soldering gun hot and ready for soldering and just you have to make sure one thing first of all the tip should be cleaned now if you look at the tip now it's not cleaned or at least we can't say it's clean in this current stage the simplest way to clean it is have some solder applied onto it not some lots of it i would say and then simply leave it out like this. Do it two, three times and you get a, you'll get a clean tip. Now once you're ready to solder, the process is very simple. You need to have the gun placed in an angle. Usually it's called as 45 degrees, but you just find your comfortable spot. And then you hold the solder from the other end. You hold the solder first, then you hold the gun and then you let the spot be created. Let's look at it from this angle. See how the spot is formed. Now, just look at it. Gun, solder, the spot is formed. I'll just do a couple more from this side. So I can show it to you. And one from the top, one from the bottom. Now I can pick it up and I can show it in the camera. So like that, you need to solder all the points one after another. Make sure that when you put the solder and your gun, remove the solder first and then the gun. Also, don't take solder on here first and then try to apply it. No, it won't work that way. Because the solder consists of flux that assign or that helps the solder to stick onto that joint. If you keep the metal or the solder onto the soldering iron for a long time, you will see a lot of fumes coming out. Those fumes are nothing but the flux is burning out. After a particular point, the flux is completely burnt out and no matter how much you try, this metal will not stick to the joint. So always take fresh metal onto the joint like this and keep soldering it. Now I'm just trying to finish one end I can still remember few years back when we used to do a whole lot of project work, we literally used to have competitions and the one who loses or the one who takes more time to solder used to give us a treat. Now that was normally a tea or coffee, something of that sort. Now as you can see, one line is completely finished. Now. Simply turn it over, choose your orientation the way you want and now I am going to do the second side of it. 
after a bit of practice it will become so natural to you that you won't even feel that you are doing something for that matter i can tell you that i am soldering a pcb after about or i am soldering a component after about 6 months or so roughly but it's like driving to you once you get habited to it there is no way of going back last one it's done if you look at it all the points are now soldered well and this is a raspberry pi pico w which is now ready to go into any kind of experimentation by inserting into breadboard as easy as that I'll just remove this LED and that gives you a nice view. So that's about it. Try to solder your Raspberry Pi as well before you start experimenting so that you can insert it into breadboard. Or even if you don't want to insert it into breadboard, you will still want to connect some wires, connecting wires to it. And I'll show you some connecting wires. So whenever you are experimenting, you will be needed to connect this kind of male or male to male or female to female wires to the board and that will help this board these lines will help connecting this kind of connectors to raspberry pi pico gently remove it from breadboard now you can see this is how you will be able to make connections connecting any new particular component or any new board this is how it will go that's it for this video thank you for watching and do a good experiment with your raspberry pi beware that you don't burn your hands while soldering thank you